Good morning, everybody. Good morning. For those of you just jumping in, I'm Coach Brian Champ, and today is Core Cardio Thursday. So let's get this party started. Let's start on all fours, hands under the shoulders, spread fingers, okay? We're going to do the cat cow. I'm here with Maya. She's going to be my lovely model today. Hi, Maya. All right, everybody, let's get it going. So spread those fingers. Let's get a strong base. Inhale, look up into that cat cow position. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin, blowing out, filling the belly, draw in. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, blow out into the ground, feel the belly draw in. Again, deep breath in, belly rib cage expands. Exhale, blow out. Two more, everybody. Let's get that back to round and extend. Exhale, blow out. Remember the breathing. Most important part of the movement. We'll get more out of things when we breathe with movement. Inhale, look up. Exhale, blow out. All righty. Let's just do a couple rocking child's pose. I'm going to move back a little bit. Let's just sit back, inhale up, exhale back. So today we're going to do four core exercises and four cardio movements in a circuit, in a circuit. So we'll get those heart rates up today. So far this week, we haven't uh, really got the heart rates up too much. We've been working a lot on strength this week. Let's reach forward a little bit farther. Keep it going. Let's get those lats loosened up, your quads. Check your knee distance right now. Wherever you are, do something different with your knees. So I got my, my knees about a little wider than shoulder width. I'm going to bring them close just to change up the angle. Inhale forward, exhale back. Keep going. This is going to help us loosen up for one of our core movements today called the uh, rollout. The rollout. Ah, all right. Let's, let's play with that exercise. That's actually, this is a good modification if you do not have a glider set or... Uh, a stability ball, but keep in mind, I actually just looked at the uh, Amazon yesterday for gliders. It's like four gliders for $10, so it is a pretty inexpensive equipment option. Ace hardware too. Yes, all right. All right, so keep your belly in right now. So this is gonna be our modification if you do not have gliders or a stability ball, or if you like this better. Belly drawn in, keep it. And now we're gonna walk the arms out, keeping the arms straight. Keep the arms straight, go out as far as you can, keeping the belly in, walk back, hands under shoulders. That's our start, that's our end. Let's go, walk forward, keeping the belly in, exhaling on the way down, inhaling on the way up, keeping the belly in. Just keep going. This is a good shoulder warm up, as well as a core challenge as we start getting to these extended positions. So hold it right here where I am. This is going to make you work. Belly drawn in. Got to keep it in. Squeeze those glutes. Keep them squeezed. Walk it back. Let's do a couple more, everybody. Keep walking forward. The challenge is how far can you go out keeping your arms straight? There is a point of no return. Let's get one more of these in. Great warm up. Kind of like a kneeling inchworm. Arms straight, though. Arms straight. Walk it out. Hold it at the end point. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Again, not easy. All right, great job. Let's add a rotation now. Let's go ahead and rotate up. Inhale down. Exhale, rotate up. Inhale. Exhale, good. Take a look at your hand at the, at the top here. Take a look at that hand. I have my left arm up now. Turning that thumb as far as you can. Inhale, exhale. I have my hand about chest height. Deep breath in, chest is up. Exhale round. One more each side. Rotate from here, your midsection. Last one. All right, good. Let's get some downward dogs in. So hands again under the shoulders, right? Let's go ahead and bring those knees up. Let's do the pawing dog. Keep going. Whenever I do these, I always, it always hurts those first couple. Then it starts loosening up. You as well, Cheryl? Did, 
You as well? First, first one I do is just not, not fun. I feel it all the way up in my hip, but I know it's working. Keep going. Breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale. We're just doing that pawing dog action, everybody. Pawing dog. Now let's take your right leg and bring it up with your leg straight. Sorry, with your arms straight and your leg straight, except for the one that's bending. Switch it up. I have my right, I'm trying to get that right heel to the ground and rotate the left hip and torso. Switch. Now I'm gonna go left heel on the ground. Keeping that belly drawn in a little bit as needed. Arms straight and switch one more time. Keeping those arms straight. Slow, deep breaths. Come back down to child's pose. Sit back, reach forward. How low can you sit? Let's reach to the right. Feel that left side stretch. And reach to the left, feel the right side stretch. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All righty, so let's get it going. So, uh, first movement's gonna be uh, cardio. We're always gonna go cardio, core, cardio, core. So the first movement will be a high knee skips for 20 seconds, then high knee run, okay? Then we're gonna go to the elbow plank with opposite arm and leg. So let's do that right now. So let's go plank position, and always remember that you can go on your knees anytime. Everybody can do it except for Maya. Yes. All right, so let's go wide feet, belly drawn in, shoulders back. We're gonna try to go right arm out, left leg up. Switch, left arm out, right leg out. And just keep switching. The wider the feet, the easier it is. Kneeling, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Okay, kneeling position. What I don't want you to do is to try to go into that knee off position, that normal plank, and your belly to fall. That would be a bad idea. So I'd, ra I'd rather you do belly in, keeping the kneeling position as needed, okay? And we can also just do the leg or an arm instead of both. All right, then we'll go into more cardio. We'll do some lateral skips, lateral shuffles, and then we're gonna go to a one arm swing. All right, I'm gonna grab our, our MedBell product here. And I know some of you order these and I will be picking those up shortly. So this is a combination. Let's stand it up, Maya. Got a wristband there. All right, hello. <laughs> All right, so um, this is a uh, combination dumbbell, kettlebell, slam ball. So Maya's gonna use a, five, what are you gonna use? You're gonna use a kettlebell? You could also use a dumbbell. Okay, so let's start here. So again, let's get feet shoulder width, really connect to the ground. Again, if you have a heavy kettlebell or dumbbell and you don't want to do one arm or whatever, just do it both. All right, we're going to start here. You can only hold it here for a second, though. Probably not going to be easy if you have a heavy load. Well, let's start it here. Okay, let's start it at the right here between the legs, Maya. So real quick here, we want to make sure the forearm stays connected to your torso right here. Okay, we do not want to ever be like this, which how which I said originally to start. Don't ever do that. You can keep it slightly bent though. Okay, so check it out. So I'm gonna, let's start here. We're going to hinge. The ball or the bell or the dumbbell goes between the legs. Keep going between, Rishma. Chest is up. And we're gonna come up and swing, but it's not, it's not your arm that's working. It's, my arm's not doing anything. So this is 10 pounds. So it's not an arm exercise. So if all of you with me right now, I've got a handful of folks with me right now, you're, it's not your arm. It's your hips, swing. So I can do this with my pinky, it's 10 pounds. So you just have to learn how to use your hips, as Shakira says. Did she say that? Okay, all right, so let's go down, other side, chest up. Shakira, she's a pop artist, yes, keep going. Inhale, exhale, swing your butt, come on. My, all right, so time, okay. So make sure, guys, you wanna ground your feet, okay? Go, ground your feet, lock them in. Nobody can move you out of this awesome position. So again, chest is up, we're hinging. Let's just do this. Let's go with both arms. Let's all do this together right now. Keep your eyes on me, Maya. Yep, nope, no swing right now. So we're just going like this. So this is our, our, uh, our deadlift exercise, right? Inhale, exhale. Now we're just 
bringing the arm up in the, at the right time and keeping your arms slightly bent. Again, never ever extending out fully, keeping it tight and up and down. That's why people can lift a lot of weight with this. It's not extending your arms. Okay, next, um, we're gonna do cardio uh, and then we're gonna go to a kneeling rollout. So we can use a ball, we could do the walkout as I just explained earlier. Here's if you have a ball, we're gonna just, either, yeah, we can start at the hands. We're gonna just go forward and back. And I'm really moving from the hip. So we're doing a couple of these. Push into the ball, exhale down, inhale up. Just like we did with our hands in that warm up. Okay, if you don't have a ball, use the walkout, that's fine. Or we have the gliders, which many of you have now. So that's just good. All right, so last one here, last opportunity to have a variety of exercises. Let's see that ball out of the way. All right, so belly drawn in, we're pushing in the ground and coming back. Going forward, coming back, keeping the arms straight. So that is our movement. Thank you, Marcia. All right, and then finally reverse flies with the ball, without the ball. Again, depends what you got. So I'm always gonna give you a lot of variety and as people start getting more home equipment, hopefully you can utilize that stuff. So right here, wide feet, we're gonna do reverse flies. Again, this is just an easier way on your back, an easier position on your back, okay, than always bending over. This kind of takes out the core a little bit. Right here, we can do this kneeling, slight forward lean, forward hinge, okay? You can also use bands, step on the band, and do our reverse fly this way or we could do band pull aparts. All right, so that's it. Let's start off in number one, which is gonna be our cardio. Let me get the timer going. Cardio is gonna be high knee skips. Let's all start marching right now. All right, all right. Cheryl's looking at who? Okay, let's go high knee march as soon as Maya is done lacing. Three, come on, pick it up. <laughs> High knee march, everybody. And we'll get the timer going. High knee march, three, two, one, and go. We're going 40 seconds cardio, stay in place. <clears throat> High knee march, here we go. And then we're gonna add a skip for 20 seconds. Stay tall. When we do our skips, we wanna go toes up. Keep going. <clears throat> Three seconds, we're gonna go high knee runs. All right, here we are. High knee runs, everybody. <sighs> Knees up, toes up. And again, go into that march at any point. Keep going. I want you to drive your arms. Keep going. Nine seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, plank position. We have 10 seconds in between. We're going to that opposite arm, opposite leg exercise. Now, if that's too much for you, just do the arm, and that is fine. Belly drawn in. Remember, chest up, lock those shoulders on the knees to modify. Everybody except for Maya. Keep your chest up. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Keep it going, come on. Breathing, everybody. Can you do opposite arm, opposite leg? Come on now, shoulders back and down. You could also put your elbows on an elevated surface like your couch instead of kneeling keep going come on team breathing three two one okay cardio and what that's going to be we'll start with that skip again i'm sorry march we're going to go lateral skips lateral skips so we're going to go right and left Okay, if you haven't gotten the skip down very well, just stay in place. At the halfway mark, we're gonna go lateral shuffles. Keep going. Got a few more seconds. Three, two, one, lateral shuffle. This is our lateral station right here. After this, we're going to that, that pull through. Keep going, everybody. Heart rates are coming up. A lot of folks in blue right now. I'll flash that screen shortly. Give me uh, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Time, okay. 
Let's grab your dumbbell, your med, I know those of you don't have med ball bells yet, you will, or kettlebell, starting here. I'm gonna go side, feet shoulder width. Inhale, exhale. Avoid the arm straight out. It's a hip exercise. Inhale, exhale. Other side. If you're doing two arms, that's fine, like Maya's doing. Inhale, exhale. Keep the belly in. Thunder. Three. How many more seconds do we got? We got nine seconds. Chest is up. Look straight ahead. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Inhale, exhale. Pretty good, Rishma. Time. All right. All right, we're going um, next cardio. What did, I, what did I miss here? High knee lateral skips. Just did that. Hopscotch. Okay, hopscotch. All right, we're going to go in and out. Here we go. In and out. Keep going, keep going. Breathe. Aha, uh -huh, see what I did. Keep going. Come on. All right. Halfway. One foot in the middle. One foot in the middle. Hopscotch, everybody. Take out the jump as needed. Can't even do it slow. How do I do it slow? I don't know how to do it slow. <laughs> I was trying to modify this. I can't figure out. Oh, we can modify it this way. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. Roll outs or walk outs. Maya's going to do it on the ball. I'm going to do the uh, glider roll out. Okay. Moving from the hips. Belly drawn in. Again, if you don't have the gliders, walk out. Actually, exhale on the way out. Inhale on the way in. Gliding, moving from the hips, trying to go as far as you can and hold that end point. Keep going now. Come on, everybody. We've got some lateral skips coming up with a crossover. That's our next cardio. Followed by a karaoke. Keep going. Give me three, two, one. Okay. So lateral skip with a crossover looks like this. So we got our march, right? We're going to cross over and go laterally. Cross over. Okay? Cross over that front leg. Once you get the coordination, your heart rate will go up. Cross over. Skip. <laughs> So again, if you get lost, stay like this. This is your skips. We're just adding a lateral crossover. Okay, karaoke, karaoke. Here we go. Cross front, cross back. This will rise your heart rates. We got reverse flies coming up. Keep going. Eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four. We got Allie in the orange. Everybody else is blue. Time. Okay. Reverse flies. Final one. If you have a ball, use it. Or kneeling reverse flies. Kneeling, okay? So it looks like this. Slightly bent over from the hip. Low hands. Low hands. If you have a bench at home, that works as well. Chest is up. So when you use a ball in this situation, it actually removes the core and stabilizes you in that upright position. If you have light weights, try to go thumbs up. Slight bend in your elbows. It's great to have a big breakfast if you have a ball right before you do this exercise. Pancakes and waffles right before. Just kidding. All right, 20 second break. And we'll do it all again. Three more times. All right, so we're gonna have our cardio high knee skips coming up. High knee skips. Let's just show some heart rates here. All right, let's get it ready. Three, two, one. High knee skips. Go in place. Skips. Knees up, toes up. And we're going to alternate with the high knee run for 20 seconds. Let's bring them up, guys. In the blue, Johnny, 63%. We're close to blue. So you want to try to be in the blue most of the time. High knee run. Go. So blue, for those of you that do not have a heart rate monitor, is five to seven on a 10 scale. 
Five to seven on a 10 scale. Now your aerobic zone. We want to be in the aerobic zone. Cheryl just popped out. No credit for Cheryl. All right, three, two, one. Plank position. Here we go. So for those of you, you got to kind of stay near your phones at some level. <laughs> Cheryl, yeah, you got out of there. So if you have a ball too, this is another modification, really big modification. You can go here, opposite arm, opposite leg. Everybody can do this except for Maya. Keep your chest up. Keep going. Come on now. Come on, Maya, you got this. So again, this is a great Halfway. beginning low back exercise if you have a rehab situation, but you're actually not engaging your core very much, very little here with the stability ball. But just remember, you can always do something. If you have ankle pain, knee pain, someone broke their toe the other day, they said, I can't work out for four weeks. I'm like, your toe? You broke your toe? Can't work out? Doesn't make sense. Okay, all right, high knee laterals. So high knees. All right, we're gonna go lateral skips. High knee lateral skips. Keep going. Drive, drive. We're getting ready for lateral high knee runs. Or, I'm sorry, lateral shuffles. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, shuffle. Let's keep the hands up this time. Let's get low, Maya, let's get low. Stay low. You got it. Hands up. Athletic position. Yes. Basketball will happen again one day. Seven seconds. And we're gonna get those pull throughs, those swings. Stay low, get low, it's harder down there. Three, two, one. Okay, the swing, everybody. So again, if you have a dumbbell, that works. Just go wider feet. Start it here. Hinge. I'm, I'm connected forearm to my torso. Explode. Do less here, do less. Less is more. There we go, keep it going. You got it, eyes straight ahead on me, belly drawn in, three, two, one, switch sides. Halfway. Here we go, keep it going, eyes straight ahead, Maya. You wanna stay focused on this movement in particular. This could definitely put some strain on your back if your form is not good. So keep that posture, keep your belly in, drive it up with your hips, slow down, explode up, slow down, explode up. Time, great job, okay. Next, we're gonna go high knee lateral skips and the karaoke. Maya wrote the uh, same thing twice there. I wonder what that was supposed to be. I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's go back to skips. Let's go back to skips. I think it was a crossover. That's what it was, Maya. Okay, keep it going. Here we go. So high knee crossover skips. Keep going. Yeah, that's what it was. Just a little, little difference. Slightly the same. Okay, karaoke. Cross front, cross back. Let's go, cross front, cross back. Got a few of you in the orange alley. Eric, Julie was there, keep going. Nice, nice, nice. We got kneeling rollouts next. Come on, Maya, come on. Let's go everybody out there. Come on, Joni, we're working on your grapevine. Three, two, one, okay, rollouts. Rollouts or walkouts. I'll do the walkout. Hands under shoulders, belly drawn in. Exhale as you go forward, holding it for a couple seconds. Challenge yourself at that end point. You don't need to go too far back. It's the easy part. Keep your arms straight. How low can you go? You can just hang out here too. Be careful if you have a shoulder issue. Belly drawn in, breathing. Little pulses through the mouth. Again, holding is fine. Keep it going. That's the most work is the hold. Keep it going. Exhale on the way out, squeezing your glutes. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, our final cardio is our hopscotch. Okay, we're going out and in, and then we're going right and left for the halfway. Here we go, pick it up. So we have our end of our second round here. Let's get those heart rates up. Here we go. That's where we are. Let's go, Christina Champ. Let's go pick it up. I see you working out there. Christina, yes. That's what I call her when she's bad. Keep going. <laughs> I don't know. Keep going, everybody. We got the hopscotch with one foot now. Hopscotch with one foot. 
Keep going. Come on, everybody. 87% for a couple of you out there. Push it a little bit more right now. Three, two, one. Now we have 20 seconds before our third round. You can use this time to keep your heart rate up. If you need a break, take it. Oh, I skipped. I'm sorry. We got reverse flies. My bad. Sorry, reverse flies, guys. Grab your reverse flies. Hurry. Hurry. Okay. So, kneeling or with the ball. Reverse flies. Go, go, go. This is the final one of this second round. Up for the core. Keeping your chest up, whatever, however you're doing it. Ah, good. Good. Again. We don't want to go too heavy on these and sacrifice your posture. Posture is everything. Posture number one, form number two, breathe number three, and then consider adding weight if all goes well. Give me three more seconds. Okay, now jump into your cardio. We got 20 seconds break if you need it. We're going to go to high knee skips, high knee runs. I'm going to throw on the monitor. Let's keep going. Let's go. Let's get those numbers up now. All right, we're going up, we're going down. The core gets us down. The, uh, the uh, cardio brings our heart rates up. There we go. Let's do it. High knee skips again. High knee skips. When you hear that halfway, we're going high knee run. Yes. Good work. Woohoo! All right. We got it, team. We got it. Five more seconds. Give me explosive skips. Get your head up to the ceiling. Three, two, one. Okay. High knee runs. High knee runs. Good, good, good. Knees up, toes up. Land with the ball of the foot. Maya is working 62% of her max heart rate, saving her energy today for camp. Keep going. Elbow planks coming up. Nice. Let's get it. All right. On your in your plank position. Check you guys out here. All right. Here we go. Plank position. Again, remember, elbows could be on a couch. If your belly's flopping, Draw the belly in or make it easier. Okay, elbows on the couch as needed. All right, kneeling as needed. Nice, nice, nice. Keep going, we're going opposite arm, opposite leg if possible. Right arm out, left leg back. This is not easy. Keep going, Yvette's looking good out there. Woo All right, let's go, let's go. Wider feet if you're rocking, if your butt is rocking. Myra's looking good, squeeze those glutes, Myra. Yes, chest, there you go, I was actually better right there. With that, a small little micro adjustment makes a world of difference. Okay, cardio, here we go. We're going high knee lateral skips. Lateral skips, everybody. So we're going right, we're going a little bit left, and we're gonna do the lateral shuffle with this, okay? Yes, let's really explode those arms. Come on, Maya, here we go, drive it up. Keep looking at me, everybody. Push your ball of your foot into the ground. This is an explosive exercise. Keep going, or should be an explosive exercise. If you're an athlete, it will make you run faster and jump higher. Lateral shuffle, go, lateral shuffle. Stay low, stay low, hands up. Get down low, Sue, you're looking good. Yes, you're a defender now. You gotta block that, that uh, your opponent's view. Hands are wobbling, we're going back and forth. Hands are up and down. Come on, three, two, one, okay. Let's do that swing, that swing exercise. With a kettlebell, a dumbbell, in the ideal world, everybody's got kettlebells, but I know that this is not an ideal world. Let's go, here we go. Be careful with this, belly drawn in. Explode up, bring it down slow. Some pretty good movement out there. Let's try to keep those hands off the hips. All right, I'm gonna use Sue as a good example. She's looking good right there. So notice her hips, everybody. Hinge back, explode up. Good, nice, switch sides if you have one. Yes, chest is up, and again, it's not how low you go. Squeeze at the top without hyperextending your spine. Inhale down, exhale up, keeping the belly in, looking good. Got a lot of good movement out there, awesome job. Nice, okay, cardio time. We're going to that uh, lateral crossover skip. The lateral crossover skip, I know this one's confusing. All right, but just start here. So start here and march. And then we're just crossing over. Don't have a lot of room, which makes it a little bit more challenging, but just cross it over. So we're getting some rotation out of the spine. Once you get it, it gets, you can get your heart rate up after you get the coordination. Drive, drive, come on. 
Okay, karaoke, same idea. We're just not bringing those legs up very high. Come on, come on, Maya, let's go. Quick feet, quick hips. Quick feet, quick hips. 10 seconds, and then we have our rollouts or walkouts. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. Four, three, two, time. Good, okay. The rollout. How do you want to do it? With your hands, walking out, with the stability ball, with the gliders. You, your choice. However you do it, let me get the chest up and go. Here we go. Okay, we got a good number of people with stability balls out there. Great. Stability balls used to be the thing back in the, uh, the 80s. Everybody had a ball, 80s and 90s. It was a big thing for seated ergonomics. Halfway. Halfway. A lot of people gave birth on a stability ball as well. Birthing balls. You did? Yeah? Here we go. Yeah, it wasn't me, John. But, you know, <laughs> I didn't give birth on it. But I've heard of it. Keep going, sir. Come on. Remember, the more you walk out today, the more you feel it tomorrow. Keep going. <laughs> All right. Hopscotch. There you go, Maya. All right. Hodgecotch, everybody. Let's see your fifth grade education if it paid off. Come on now. Hopscotch, Maya. Here we go. If you have any jacks, you can throw some jacks down there. Let's go. Uh, two feet in, two feet out. Yes, or modify. Let's see those heart rates. Come on. Here we go. This is the uh, third inning here. We've got our reverse flies. Coming up. One foot now. One foot hopscotch. Or just go in, in, out, out if you are not jumping. Yeah, no, don't, no jumping if you shouldn't be jumping. I should not be jumping, which is why I'm not jumping. My back does not like jumping right now. But yeah, so listen to your body. Keep it going. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, reverse flies. Let's get after it. All right. Final one of this third round. Reverse flies. Let it go. Let's go. All right, Karen. So yes, we got a band, we got, that works. Step on that band, Myra, grab a lot closer. Yes, yes, keep going everybody, reverse flies. Yep, so forward lean on this reverse fly, same thing, Seuss, more forward lean. Take it out of your neck and put it in between your shoulder blades. So I'm gonna use Yvette here as a good example. She's got a really good forward lean. It's actually easier on the spine. I don't know where she went. I had her on there. <laughs> I don't know what happened with that. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know, I had her on and she's gone. You've gone, there she is. Oh, it's gonna end right now. There she is. Okay, that forward lean position. See that? That's actually easier on the back. That's good. All right, cardio. Cardio, is it where cardio break right now? Great, great. Okay, so we're coming up to our fourth round here. Yeah, 20, but not really. 10 seconds till go time. Actually, three seconds. Two, one, high knee skips. Go! High knee skips. If uh, you're done with skipping, just, just continue your high knee run or your jog. But let's try to get those heart rates up to an, an unco in, in an uncomfortable zone. That would be 8-9. Eight, 8-9 nine, eight, nine on a 10 scale. All right, we got 20 seconds. Go, go, go. That means high knee runs. High knee runs, everybody. <clears throat> let's get a little bit uncomfortable. 8 9, 10 are uncomfortable zones. That's orange zone. If you don't have a heart rate monitor, you want to be 8, 9, 10. That's the same as orange, or should be. All right, here we go. Plank position. Let's do it. Plank position. I'm going to hang out with Maya over here. Maya, let's go wide feet right now, okay? Let's do the plank. I know, this is, I know you want to go on those knees. Come on. Chest up, shoulders back. Just hold that. Here we go. Just hold that plank. Wider feet makes it easier, everybody. Belly drawn in, shoulders back and down. Now that is great. So Maya's in a really strong position. Quads are strong, all right? Shoulders back, belly drawn in, and do little pulses through the mouth. Now if you can, just bring your left arm up without moving anything else. Just the left arm. Okay, good enough. How about the, the left elbow? <laughs> How about the right elbow? Let's try the right elbow. There we go. Giant steps. Three, just keep moving the elbow, right? And left, perfect. All right, good, high knee, lateral skips. So skipping, go a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, keep going. Then we're gonna do that lateral shuffle in 20 seconds, let's see it. Come on, this is gonna get the heart rate up. Go, go, here we go, team. 
Remember, modify as needed for anything, for your ankles, knees, and hips. So if you want, if you, if boxing's better for you, that's good, go for it. <clears throat> Keep going, three, two, one. Okay, lateral shuffle, go. Lateral shuffle, let's stay low. Stay low, get a little uncomfortable. Eight, nine, 10. You probably don't wanna be a 10 right now, but eight, nine on a 10 scale. Get uncomfortable. Eric's a little bit uncomfortable, I think. That's Mr. Hollywood there. Three, two, one. Swing exercise. It's called a kettlebell swing. <clears throat> We're modifying that movement pattern. I'm gonna use a dumbbell here. So remember, this is not an arm exercise. Hinge, drive. You could actually, we could all lift a lot heavier if we learn how to use our hips effectively. Inhale, exhale up. Keep it going, everybody. Squeeze your glutes at the top. All right, halfway. Keep it going. Inhale, exhale. Looking pretty good, Maya, looking good. Eyes straight ahead. Look at Cheryl. We got Cheryl here in front of Maya. Look at each other's eyes. No smiling at each other, though. Keep going. Keep going. Inhale, exhale. Three, two, one. All right, great. Let's try that crossover skip again. All right, so here, again, marching is skipping. Okay, we're gonna cross over, cross over. One, two, I think that works the most effective. One, two, keep it going. Cross it over, and then we're gonna add that karaoke. Get ready. Come on now, come on. Give me five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now go fast with your karaoke's. Go, cross over. Quick feet, quick hips, quick feet, quick hips. Hips allow the trunk to rotate. Keep going. We got 11, 10, 9, 8, getting a little uncomfortable. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Notice how heart rates go up high on that one, that karaoke. Lateral movement. Okay, the rollout. Here we go. Exactly. All right, let's do it. Swiss ball, stability ball. They're used interchangeably. Okay, you could also try this one on your elbows. Keep your chest up. But if I start closer to the ball, I can extend out farther. Knees about shoulder width or more. Belly in the whole time. I could also put my hands on the ball. Remember, the, the end point is the key here. Hold it. Belly drawn in. Try to squeeze your butt if you can. Be careful of your low back. Breathe out, hold it. Breathe, breathe. Let me see your eyes, Maya. Three seconds, two, one, and time. Final cardio before our reverse flies. Hopscotch, let's get it. Again, in, in, out, out is our modification. Let's see it. <laughs> we got Miss Graceful behind me over here. All right, here we go. <laughs> Come on, you're making me laugh, Maya. <laughs> Keep going. Hope you're all entertained by Maya here. She's just here to entertain you. Keep going. Stop picking on Maya. Oh, that was not John. That was me. Yes. <laughs> Halfway. One foot. One foot. Let's go. Quick feet. Quick feet. This is it, guys. This is our final cardio. Wow, we got some good movements out here. Got some one-legged actions here. Yes. Come on. Give me a few more. Give me three, two, one. One final exercise is the reverse fly. Let's see it. Okay. Again, I think a stability ball, you can see the, the many uses of this. Um, instead of buying a bench, if you're ever considering a workout bench, I wouldn't personally. I would use the ball for a bench press and many other movement patterns. <laughs> Keep going. This is our final exercise. And the, uh, the bench takes up more space ball you can sit on it you can do lots of things on it keep going you can even get birth on it just so you know Marcia it's always good you know just in case you want another baby come on everybody sure are you are you in the market for another baby <laughs> baby John wants another baby yeah three another girl session complete. how great would that be time <laughs> okay good work everybody <laughs> Let's take a seat. Let's do some butterflies. Ah, oh, butterfly. Seated butterfly. 
Good work, Maya. Good work. Good work out there, everybody. Virtual high five. Yay, virtuals. Elbow bumps. Actually, that's even tough right now. All right, throw your chest out, shoulders back. Can you get your knees to the ground? What do you think? <laughs> okay, that's one way. All right, with your feet to the groin area. All right, just throw your chest out there. Now let's do that little yoga trick. Let's take your feet and let's turn them up so the knees open up. So the outer, my outer foot, my outer part of my foot are connecting. Yoga trick, party tricks at yoga, yoga parties. Your feet should open up if your ankles will allow. Helps if you sprain your ankles multiple times. It, your ligaments loosen up. Okay, extend your legs out. All right, good. Real tall length and spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hinge. Pretty good at that one. Can you bring your head in between your legs? Pretty good. So Maya beat me on that one. We all have gifts. This is not mine. Okay, let's take your right foot, put it on your left thigh. Again, chest is up. Let's try to get your right knee down. Stay tall. And now let's lean forward again. Notice how high this leg is off the ground compared to the other one in a moment. So ideally, we want the same. And so Maya has really good mobility in this particular position with her hips. So notice that side. Now let's go to the other side. About the same. A little bit tighter, right? Where do you, so ask yourself where you feel it. So where do you feel that? The yeah, outer butt area. So outer hip at flex area. Yeah, so that's where we want to foam roll or get a lacrosse ball in or have a therapist work on. It's where you feel that restriction. I feel it right to the to the outside of my hip flexors. And that is right where my back's hurting, interestingly enough. So it's locked up. Locked up. Even you're locked up. I feel better about myself. Okay, wide feet. Wide feet. Let's go ahead and reach forward. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, come down. Let your body fall. So for anybody that ordered those med bells, I am going to be picking up half of the shipment today. So theoretically, you still have time to order if you do want to order any of the blue <coughs> kettlebell med bell. They're called med bells. Combination of a medicine ball and kettlebell and a <coughs> dumbbell. All right, let's go ahead and reach to the side. Pick a leg and reach. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, side bend. How far can you reach over that right side? There you go, big stretch. Let's get a little lower. Try to bring your head to your shin. Your head to the shin, yeah. Not your chin, no. Your head to your shin, not your chin. Switch, other side. Cheryl likes this one. That dancer pose. Uh, how far can you go? This feels good. What do you think, Marcia? Breathe. Remember, we got to have mobility in order to keep working out. Eventually, things will break if we don't create that joint mobility. Let's do one more thing. Let's get those hip flexors. That area that we uh, that some of you felt tight. All right, let's just shift that forward. Uh, if you can, grab with one arm or two arms. The benefit of two arms is that we can open up the chest at the same time. Let's finish with this. Ah, pull those shoulders back. So our goal with our heart rates is to bring them back down. Eric's still working hard. He's still in the blue at 154. I'm not sure what you're doing with stretches right now, but it's pretty intense stretching. Heart rate at 154. Shoulders pinched, squeeze them, open them. 
All right, switch sides. Uh, again, shift forward, tuck in your back hip. If you can, grab your leg. You could put your leg up on a couch or a chair as well. This is my tight side, so I'm not going nearly as far. Breathe. So our word of the week is priority, everybody. So where are your priorities currently and what do they need to be? Remember my tagline for my business is I'm a priority. My goal is to make you guys a priority right here. So, uh, you know, if you just make yourself a priority and if, if for a few minutes with, with different things like, like breathing, just make it a priority to do conscious breathing, it will pay off. Your, your belly will flatten, you'll feel less anxious, you'll sleep better, you'll digest better, all right? Small little thing to do. Breathe, we're, we're, we're incorporating our breathing for sure in our workouts, so, and just keep remembering that, but breathe before you eat, and you're gonna digest better, all right? So just take it like one minute. Inhale for five, hold for five, exhale for five. That little priority of uh, breathing at, before you eat will make a big difference, and then do that in the car, do it before you fall asleep, do it at one to three in the morning if you're having trouble sleeping. And that one little thing will make a huge difference in your life. So keep it simple. All right. So have a Thank great you. day today, everybody. Thank you for joining. And uh, I will flash the, uh, let me just flash the uh, heart rate monitor calories before I end. For those that want to know, remember your heart rate, your calories will continue going up. So let me get that here one moment. Our calorie count for today is for, uh, we got about 300, yeah, we got anywhere between 300 and 577. We got our leader here, Natalie. Natalie is our leader today. Uh huh. Maya, you're, you came in 15th. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Okay, good work, everybody. Thanks, yeah. Brian. Ryan, I put a note in chat. Can you check that? Yes. One moment. Bye, guys.